Hello everyone, for today's video I've prepared a deck with a Ritual of Servitude and the f uh, thing is with this card you can play it with either medium sized minions where you will get um, medium sized uh, minion from Ritual of Servitude and you have a little bit faster cycle or you can play it with uh, big minions so you get a big value from the ritual but you have a very slow cycle so it seems like you can get the same value uh, regardless of what you play uh, but I had an idea that you can uh, cheat a little bit with uh, future presents uh, where you, you can still get a big minion but you will have a faster cycle depending on what you get from the future presence. Uh, unfortunately I don't have the Ritual of Servitude so these games were played by Clem and I, I think it was on the master rank. As usual I have two games for you, this one against Stormbringer. Let's do Victory at all cost. Okay, so he had a uh, future present in opening hand, which is great that you don't need to start with anything, but depending on what your opponent is doing. So Clem decided to go uh, Harbinger against Warrior. and the blue golem for the archers but unfortunately beam of doom killed harbinger okay but my storm for the blue golem so clem spent 14 mana and his opponent Something like 18, so it was it was worth. Okay, he got Commander Azari, so it's not so so much faster cycle. Okay, Spirit for Azari. I think Azari don't need it, but still great. Okay, Bahra to kill these these flyings. Flying scratch. Okay, Howling Moon. To the wolf skill the Bahara. Okay, Brothers of Light for defense. Now the ritual of servitude to get shield guard of light. Okay, magma storm. Mm, it was a little bit too late because shield guard of light was already attacking his master. Okay, so healing fireball from the second future present. Can use it for shield guard. Do more damage and sh shock rock from the last future present. So these two cards are really fast cycle. That's what you need in this deck to cycle fast to the ritual of servitude. Okay, Rekinator in action. Another howling moon. archers so probably he won't explode okay harbinger I knew that uh, there is a beam of doom so he played it a little bit further from his master okay now clan can play red golem because he's below 1500 but he needs something faster 
play another Bahra from Ritual of Servitude, so you can see quite a big push now. Okay, Magma Storm. Wow. <laughs> no hit from Magma Storm. Hmm. Okay, it's the second game against Apep. So, let's see it. Ritual of Servitude in the opening hand, that's great because you have something to survive the early pushes. But you can probably save it for the hard times. But if it will be your first card, it will be then your first card of the next cycle, so you really want to play it soon. Okay, Fire Imp is good against these brothers, but not against these flying units. They can do quite a lot of damage if he defend only with his master. But you can see it's 2k damage. I think he really underestimated these dragons. Okay, it's all of the death from the future present. It's probably not so great because he won't get a cursed ascension probably. So it's like the undying skeleton only one mana lower than usual. future present for once bitten, which is something you really don't need in this deck since you have all of these big minions like blue golem and the once bitten is a little bit raised here but maybe for the undying skeleton but probably only on the second one it was a little bit unfortunate this this one's bitten. Just really wasted eight mana to get no value. Okay, so now the Harbinger with Brothers of Light and Ritual Services for another Harbinger. Wow. So two brothers and two Harbingers. Okay, one's bitten for the skeleton. Okay, shoot the them from APEP. So we can survive for some time, but will this be enough? Probably not. 